What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5 with the Let's Play as the Two Sicilies. I hope you're enjoying it so far. It's been fairly successful. Um, things have gone very well, so I'm very happy with that. And um, yeah, we're just going to keep going. We're at war with a lot of people, but we've held them all off. It's not so far been too bad for us. I think we're getting, we're doing just fine. So yeah, it's, it's good. It's all good. What do we need? There's so many cities. Okay, let's build walls in a lot of places because we're defending a lot. Oh, this bowman. I think that's the annoying unit. I can't tell. We can't quite hit it with anything. I keep trying to get as close as possible. Let's just go in with the bowman. I guess charge at it. See what that does. But yeah, most of our borders seem pretty safe. I'm going to see actually, can we get some peace deals right now? At least with some of the random nations that we don't really need to be at war with. Because it's some of it's a bit, a bit much just having random units pop up. I would like to get back to trading again pretty normally. Who attacked this? I have no idea. It wasn't in range of anything, so that's confusing, but whatever. Uh, okay, I should probably be, be more, even more cautious, actually, with that boat. Where is it? it? Come into this island. Just be safe. Heal up. Okay, no, you don't need to do anything. You come back over this way. It looks like Spain wants to have another go. Fair enough. They can do what they want. Let's go after them, though. Let's not make it easy. Nope, can't shoot over the hill, that's fine. Uh, what is that? Wales? Orca. Um, that's a unique unit for someone. Sadly, we won't be fulfilling that one. Uh, how is the World's Congress doing? I cannot vote because of the 57 Civ mod, but I'm sure the World's Fair will pass. Rather, Pearls weren't banned, but never mind. Right, who are we at war with? Who we don't need to be. Like, Arabia? Like, really? You don't want to negotiate peace. Okay, India? Nope. Siam? Surely somebody is going to want out because it's like I've beaten everyone like no one's winning There's no no one's won from being in this war So it doesn't really make sense I mean, I know it's also been long enough that any deal they made to go to war is expired Like It's been quite a while since most of these nations declared war on us None of them. Okay. Well, there's a few more, but I'm not gonna bother if it's all gonna be the same We'll just keep going then Whatever. I don't get what their grand scheme is. Even France has denounced us now and peaced out with Spain, so that's not good. France was at least distracting. I helped France so much, like the fact they haven't conquered Seville there off Spain, that's really embarrassing. Because I did everything. Like I, Spain had a really scary military. They were the one country I was sort of a little bit worried about when we broke out into war. Obviously, our boats were so good it didn't matter. But the, Spain was nerve wracking. But yeah, we just chipped away. They kept throwing units at us, and it was pretty easy to just mop them up. So it's um, yeah. But, Quite disappointed in France, really, because Spain, before the war started, was one of the biggest powers, and we just dismantled their military. But yeah, France also failing, so never mind. I'm starting to keep some of my promises, so that might help out. Um, I've just befriended Korea, who is the most technologically advanced nation, and Morocco is offering me this peace deal. I don't want Marrakesh, and I know Rabat is not coastal, but I'm going to take it. Now, I don't have my uh, phone with me, so I can't rename it immediately, but I'll rename it at some point. I mean, you need this. Like, it's just going to get awkward getting Marrakesh if we don't have this. Like, as much as I said it was going to be sort of trying to be get... The, the objective is to get all the coastal cities. They don't have to be coastal. There's no requirement on that. But yeah, we'll grab Rabat uh, very well. I'm going to stop telling people they'll pay for it. Let's just be nice. All right, dies. The price is quite low at the moment. Seven is not really cutting it. Six, five. I mean, if we've got a spare, I may as well get rid of it. It's not really it's better than just sitting there doing nothing. Uh... Okay, now we're starting to get some peace deals. I do not even know where that city is. It's kind of frustrating you can't check. But yeah, I don't really want that. I don't know where. Yeah, I do not want a city in the middle of the desert here. Thank you. But no thanks. But we will have a peace deal. <laughs> um, that's fine. Although I think I just rejected it by accident. Never mind. But yeah, more peace deals the better. I want to have some more options to trade at the moment. I'm sort of having to keep an eye on keeping Carthage alive as well as you know because they were nearly they nearly died at one point but they're the only person i can trade with at the moment we're at war with morocco with cargo ships also if i built caravans i think i could go to france but we won't be doing that anytime soon oh, okay you're taking so much damage yeah it can't just be that bowman i, I don't know but either way we'll get that done at least we're at peace with morocco now in theory we could trade with them pretty comfortably um i can i can deal with any spanish units that sort of try to get in the way cause some harm so yeah, we should be okay, and as you can see, we're doing a very good job of just protecting our territory. 
here. So yeah, we'll just sit back. You just sit back. Shoot that crossbowman. There we go. That's a good amount of damage. We'll build the courthouse. Right, here we will go for a bank, because that's what we need to build some of the national national wonders in Naples. But there we go. Yeah, I don't know exactly where the city is. I don't have I normally have my phone here. I can see it. It's just it's too far away. Yeah. We could have an awkward silence as I rushed and grabbed it, I guess. Ready? If I talk loud enough. And we're back, we're back. That was quick. Nothing no one noticed anything. Um Right, maps. Where are we at? Mar yes, thank you. I know where I live. Every time you just creep me out. Uh, Morocco. To be fair, okay, Rabat's not the worst place. It's not quite accurate, but, you know, Rabat. Okay, no, Rabat is actually in a part of Africa beyond Spain. This map doesn't really show Rabat should be like here. Um, this is more east than any of Spain. It's more level with, like, our. I don't even know what. That island, Palma. So Algiers is directly to the south. I have heard of that, so that's good. That's obviously a big place. So we'll name this city Algiers. It's not quite coastal, but that that, that works. And obviously Marrakesh is a capital, so I would assume it's in the right place, or close to the right place. Obviously this map is quite heavily distorted to make Europe more interesting. That's the main thing. I mean, it also makes the naval combat element more interesting, particularly in the Pacific and the Caribbean. Not so much anywhere else. Everywhere else is about the same, but... Yeah, this is the smaller of the three maps. Um, I've used the medium one sometimes. I've very rarely. I used the large one on one series, you know, many years ago, but I rarely use that one. It's a bit too big for my PC to handle and to have the right number of sieves. I can't remember how. Like, it is ridiculous. Like the big map. Like it would be fun to maybe try something. Now we have fifty-seven sieves, but I don't. I can't remember. I feel like because Europe is almost big enough. But then the rest of the world is just so big. You would have to put a lot of sieves in. Um, but I might have a look at it on the giant map. I mean, like, the the Siberia area is just ridiculous on that map. So it would require a lot of new sieves. And obviously at the moment I'm having issues setting up new mods and stuff like that. So we'll see. Okay, Garamanti's back with a renewed enthusiasm, of course. Yep, just, just good timing, guys. We will... First off, go after the units they put in the sea, because they are the most vulnerable. Um, one of these ships from here, I mean, this one may as well come over. I know it's in the red, but if I put it in the city, then it's safe. And then just go after that trebuchet. Lovely. Just build walls. That will help defend this city. This frigate can probably just be... Uh, if we kill that trebuchet, that should be safe, because this one would have to set up. And yeah, I think it should be safe. Hopefully. Right, Spain... Welcome back, right, get rid of you, oh, so close. Shoot that missionary, not that it's the worst unit to have to deal with. Okay, Tercio's just going to sit there, that's fine, we'll go after you. You're more than welcome to sit there, but we are going to attack you. There we go, chipping down it, and there we go, get rid of that crossbowman. Come on, Spain, you've got to want a peace deal, no. Okay, fair enough, we'll just keep going then. We'll just keep on going. Uh, okay, I was going to build an iron mine. I'm a little bit more hesitant to do that now. We'll send him over to this slot instead. That looks like a lot safer of a place. I don't know where this Garamanti settler is heading. Okay, someone keeps... There was a comment, and I, I'm sure now that I'm here, you will give me all of that. Well, I'll accept that. Um, I need to buy this tile. I completely forgot last episode after a comment that I read a few episodes ago, and I haven't had... Obviously, I was pre-recorded a few ahead. I need to buy Mount Sinai. Well, actually... I don't need to buy it. I don't have a religion, so it's not... It doesn't matter. And actually, it might be too far away. But, I mean, we could, like, stop some of the other sieves with religions. Um, Ethiopia, Arabia there, I think, probably both founders of religions. Yeah, Islam and Eastern Orthodoxy, yep. So, you know, one of those two. Whoever gets Mount Sinai here out of those two would get a huge boost to their religion. Oh, there's an ideology. The Huns go in autocracy. We're a little bit behind that. Attila is quite big, he does stretch all the way up here, you know, to almost level beyond our empire, and yeah, he's quite big in Eastern Europe as well, conquered Russia, so it's not surprising, Mongolia looks a lot bigger in this game as well, so that's still pretty scary, we'll keep an eye on that, if, Baz if Babylon offers me a peace deal, and they offer me Adrianople, I'll make sure to turn that one down, because that is obviously not so useful all the way up there. Go 
six turns on that East India Company. But yeah, just getting some peace deals. Maybe it'll open up some new trade routes for us. To something different than just trading with Carthage. Because I'll see the more routes I can send from Naples. And I guess the other big cities as well. The better. Um, these guys will pay full price. No, you won't. Why make the offer then? Whatever. Oh, Kilwa is still around. They're just, just banished to Madagascar. Not the worst thing that could happen, I guess. For that, you know. Could be worse. Industrialization in two turns, Big Ben. We'll unlock factories, but yet yeah, coal is the big important resource. We're going to discover, find out if we have access to any. Okay, this composite bowman's just not willing to run away. Not that I'm complaining. And that trebuchet. Low on health. There we go, and it's gone. <laughs> Lovely, this guy actually survived, so we'll go after that. And the hope that I can clear this trebuchet this turn. There is quite a few turned up. <laughs> That's a little concerning, but there we go, we'll go after that musketman. Uh, we can do with another boat down here, I guess. One of those ones have just been. Uh, one of these ones could probably head over from Spain. Maybe two, because I think we can handle Spain pretty well. Um, I could take an upgrade. Yeah, you come over here. Come and help out. If you can still shoot, there's no way. Yeah, no, I was going to say that is impressive. The movement was impressive enough. Um, so yeah, there we go. You don't need to shoot. I've built all the free things. I need things that don't cost a lot of gold. I'll just build wealth for now, I guess. There's nothing. I'll, I'll review it. Marrakesh. Okay, there we go. So better routes open. Mainly because we're not all, we've are not we got extra range, I would guess, at some point. But also, we can now go through Morocco. So that's, there's a lot of routes here. Now, obviously, not all of them are safe. You know, I wouldn't want to go around Spain in the Atlantic or anything. But Marrakesh 37 is much more than Carthage is 30. Even then, there's some other great routes here. Texas, lots of different routes we can go for. But yeah, we'll go with Morocco for now. Just a little bit more mining. I'm sure we won't be attacking them within the next 30 turns. So that's okay. Marseille. Okay, university, please. Is that everywhere? Yep. Got a library on the way in Beirut. That will help. Okay, yeah, you're not going to work over there anymore. That's for sure. Oh, okay, I, I wasn't sure I was still at war with Congo then, but I'm assuming we are. <laughs> there we go. Just kill their unit. Just wandering around. That stops them. Very nice. Inset. Yeah, I'll just take this. It's fine. It's not the best offer, but we've got to get rid of it. And we will complete industrialization. So we'll find out whether we have any coal. And we'll very quickly, hopefully we'll be able to get like some founder bonuses. Be one of the first. To pick a certain ideology does depend. Um, we don't have much tourism, so we might have to just pick what's already popular. I don't think any of them have really... I think the Huns were the first Civ, unless I've forgotten somebody. Yeah, the Huns are the first, and they went autocracy. So we'll see. Maybe we'll end up going for something else. Or maybe we'll join them. Who knows? But we'll see. I'm sure there'll be some other Civs beat us to the punch as well. So it's not necessarily a race. California v Ethiopia, some random wars, at least Ethiopia. If they get ganged up on two, then we can work together. That's always something, I guess. Kazar joining in as well. Happiness is back down to 12. So I might have to consider building some more happiness buildings. Japan versus Benin, some very random ones. Benin, much more of a coastal empire in this one. In the AI battle, they're much more central. And obviously, Ubini is like almost their most western city in that. They've moved around. Congo v Ethiopia, Corral Benin, Corral Ethiopia. They're all just the same civs declaring war on each other in different orders. South Africa enters the industrial era. They're doing okay. Nothing really special though for them in this game. Is there a Panama Canal? Can we go and... There we go. We're in the industrial era too. No, maybe. They settled in like the one tile. Like just settle down here. Go on. Right. We've got three sources of coal. Some of them seem to already be being worked as well, so that is absolutely perfect. Almost every sieve that has a religious unit is next to our city. That is quite impressive. All right, let's deal with these trebuchets. They're the ones that can hurt, like my musket men. There we go. My musket men, my boats. There we go. That's a lot of them dealt with. That was a very destructive turn. Come down here. Go after them again. Yeah, that was a very good turn. All round. Steam frigate. Come down here. There we go. Chipping away. Let's just kill that guy. Worker, we can get over here at some point, that would be nice. 
There we go, that's them dealt with. Omen, can you get from there? No. Might try to steal that worker away. Or get something out of all these wars. We're not going to get cities. I mean, India just gave us a ton of money, so that's already a good start. We'll go for acoustics. Uh, we have a spy. I'm not using either of them. I'm so bad at using spies. I apologize. It's because I'm used to not using them. Um, I don't really know who's ahead of me in technology, but I'm going to guess that... Well, I know that Korea is, that's for sure. I'm guessing Attila is as well. So we'll go ahead and move one to Attila's court to spy, and then we'll move one to Korea. Where's K in the alphabet? Not good at it. I can do it, but I've got to do it. Like I've got to start from A. I can't. I can't just pick a random letter. I know where I got to start from A every time. That'll be it for this episode. So as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.